Hi everyone and welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of these links are in the description box below. Let's get started on project number one. For our first project, we're going to be making a small wagon. Now, I got this crate from Dollar Tree, so we're going to be using this crate. Um, we need four wheels. These wheels I got at Joann's. They are um, they're two inch wheels, and they come four in a pack. Um, these are half um, half beads. And these are 15 millimeter, which I got on Amazon. Uh, I am going to use these for the hub of the wheel. So um, I think first things first. First, I'm going to glue these on so that they're ready when we paint. And I'm going to be using Gorilla Wood Glue. Just glue them onto the center of the wheel. I just love fall, so I'm very excited to start my fall projects. All right, we got the hubs glued on, and now we're going to paint our crate. Now, I'm going to be using Classic Caramel. This is from Apple Barrel, Classic Caramel. I'm going to just, uh, I want it to be thinned out. I don't want to paint it. I don't want it to be, um, I want it to look like a stain. So I'm going to put a little bit of paint in my cup. Pour a little water just to water it down a little bit. Mix that up. And we are going to paint the crate. These little crates are good for, um, if you have tiered trays, they're perfect for um, a tiered tray because they're really small. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna take the label off the bottom first. Let me take that off. So we're just going to paint we're just going to paint the crate now see how that soaks into the wood if you use just straight paint then it, it would look too much like it was painted and not stained i wanted it to look like it was stained and that's the perfect color Yeah, I'm not a summer person, so I am so happy. Fall is on its way. I'm not a flip-flop beachy person. I'm more of a sweater and boots.
okay, it's all painted. So we're going to sit that down and let that dry. And now we're going to make the paint for our wheels. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the dowel. This is a quarter inch by 36 inch dowel. Um, and I am going to make the axle rod, the axle, I mean, for the, um, for the wheels. So I'm going to cut them, um, three and a half inches. So I need two at three and a half inches. So I am going to use my miter shears. This is a great little tool for cutting wood dowels. So you just put it up against the edge there. That's where I want to cut it. And you just cut down. See how simple that was? That's three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut another one three and a half inches. Okay, so that is for the wheels. And then I need to cut uh, the handle. So for the handle, I want the handle to be um, probably about four and a half inches. So four and a half inches would bring me to right here here, four and a half inches. And then I probably want about an inch for the, um, for the cross handle. So I'm going to cut right there. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it on the shears. Give it a squeeze. Okay, and then there's a safety latch. You just push the lash, latch up and close it. Okay, now I want to make the paint for the wheels. So I'm going to be using this. This is called Terracotta from Folk Art. Again, I want it to be more like a stain. So I'm going to put a little bit in my cup. And add some water. And mix that around. Okay, so I'm going to take my wheels and I am going to paint them.
going to stick them in styrofoam to dry. I put them on like a little chopstick so that they have time to dry. are all painted. Now I'm just going to paint the dowels. Okay, everything is all painted. So now my wheels are all dry and I am ready to glue them onto the dowels. I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue and put it in the center and put the dowel onto, into the hot glue and just let that dry. Hold it in place until it dries. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry. dries pretty quickly. Okay, while those two are drying, I'm going to put the handles on. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the handle. Like that and take this smaller handle and put it crossways on top. Okay, so there's our little handle. And now I'm going to take the crate, put a little glue, on there and put my wheels on. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. That did not take, so we're going to put that back on again. We now have a little wagon. Is that not cute? So now I'm going to take some raffia 
and let me grab my scissors. I'm going to take some raffia and fill the crate. Just like I got at the Dollar Tree also. And put some raffia in the crate. And I made a sign. These signs I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, so I am just going to break the clip off the back because I don't want that. This should come off easily. There you go. So I'm just going to take that off the back. And I made this with my Cricut. vinyl lettering that I'm going to put on the sign. And I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put a little glue. And I'm going to put my sign right there. Okay. Then I have my little scarecrow. I'm going to sit him in there. Little fall leaf. And then I have these um, little corns. Which I think would look really, really cute sitting in there. So I'm just going to break a couple off. And then I'm going to sit them in there. And there is our little wagon for the fall. Is that cute? Next up, project number two. So now I'm in my woodworking shed where I just completed my larger wagon. Now, you can make this wagon any size you like. It's all gonna be based on your bottom piece. Now, the wood that I got uh, for this wagon was wood that uh, came off of a different project. I took it all, to, all apart, and that's why you know, some pieces still have um, holes in them. But um, I think I covered that up pretty well. But anyway, um, the bottom starts with this piece of wood, and my wood is 19 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. Uh, so based on that dimension, I cut six pieces for the sides, and these pieces are 19 and 3 quarter inch pieces, 19 and 3 quarter inch long pieces. Um, for the ends, I cut six uh, 10 and a quarter inches. And then I cut 10 six inch pieces to bracket them all together. And, um, and these pieces, all of them are, the, are from the same uh, piece of wood. So um, they are one and a half inches wide and three quarter inch thick pieces, uh, just so you know the dimensions of that. Now onto the handle. The handle is, um, this piece here is five and a half inches. 
And then this piece here is 14 and a quarter inches and it's put on with this hinge. This is the hinge that I had and I just screwed that on so that it's a working handle. And then this here is just a dowel. It's a six inch dowel that I screwed onto the top and screwed into this piece of wood. All right. And then on the bottom for the axle to be put on, I have two rails. Now these rails are 19 inches and I drilled a hole at the ends. It's two inches from the end. Um, I drilled those holes so that I could put these dowels in for the wheels. Um, and the dowels are uh, 16 inches long. All right. And the wheels I cut with this and my drill. This is a, this is a hole dozer. You could probably get these at Home Depot. It fits on the end of your drill and it cuts a nice circle. So I use that for the wheels. Um, for the screws, I used narrow head screws. Um, uh, that's because they, um, don't, they, they go into the wood nice and easy and uh, the wood doesn't split. So that, those are the screws that I used. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sand it down a little bit and I'm going to stain it and, um, and then decorate it. Uh, so I'll be back to show you the finished product. I'm ready to make my sign for the, the um, hayride cart. And this is uh, a piece of wood that I cut. It is nine and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches uh, high. And what I'm gonna do first is stain it because I want to distress it. So I want the uh, bottom layer, when I do the distressing, I want it to be in a st the stain color that I, I stained the cart with. And that is, um, that's this, this is what I use, Rust-Oleum uh, Decorative Glaze. Um, and it's in the color of Java Brown. So we are just going to give it a nice coat of this stain. Okay, now we're just going to wait for that to dry. I'm now going to apply the second coat uh, to my sign. Um, I am going to use the candle wax method of distressing. This is the easiest um, way I know of, of distressing a piece of wood. So um, as I showed you, I initially uh, stained the wood and now I'm going to apply the wax to it. So I'm just going to rub the wax all over the top of the wood. now that I have a nice layer of wax on top now I'm now going to paint uh, and I am using yellow ochre folk art that's the color that I'm going to use to paint it and then I'm going to distress it so I'm going to give it a coat and then we'll wait for it to dry Okay, I'm ready to distress and stencil my wood piece. So I put the wax coat on and then I painted it. And now I'm just gonna go over with a scraper and I'm going to distress it. See how nice that comes? I tell you, the, the wax, the candle wax method is the best method. It is so simple. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Isn't that great? Okay. All right, that's 
that's how I I stress I distressed it and now I am going to stencil it so I made this stencil with my Cricut Hay Rides and now I'm going to put it on my piece of wood I'm going to lay it on here like that and I'm going to center it Okay, I'm ready to stencil. So the 25 cents, I think I'm going to do in this color here, which is barn red. So I'm just going to put a little bit out on my tarred board. Okay, we are ready to remove the stencil. Let's see how that came out. Wow, that came out great. So here is the sign. Hey, rides. Okay, now I'm ready to attach this to my wagon. I'm going to attach it, and I'll be back to show you the finished product. <laughs> 